Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, I'm all right. I don't I, give uh, a fuck how you're doing. I'm here about the money. Like, look, I know you left the neighborhood. I'm sure you've been busy, but there's busy and then there's deliberately fucking dodging me, okay? So, how much are you good for this week? Like, call it Friday. I'm not fucking around anymore. Oh. Oh, I mean... I mean, that's... Whew, that's devastating. I, I... I thought we were meeting up for a frappuccino and... Yeah, no, and so it's, I'm sorry, I can't really afford frappuccinos these days because I'm short to the tune of about, I don't know, 1100 fucking dollars that you said you would have for me two months ago. Like, look, I like you, man. You're a good guy. I would be willing to let this slide if it just wasn't so fucking ridiculous at this point. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, hey, you have a fair point there. I, uh, it is ridiculous, you know, the straits I find myself in after kind of putting in a, an honest effort and you know you just keep hitting walls that's how i feel and you know um i'm trying to trying to break through uh, one particular wall right now which is um you know what the fucking slot machines twin river again well i mean yeah you mean you definitely mean so you haven't been hitting big i take it It's a kind of a mercurial uh, profession, you know. I mean, I uh, should probably. This is a profession now. Well, like, it, uh, this, this is your job. You you play the fucking slop soul. Well, you know the, it works for some people, and I'm I feel like I'm on that on that path of. It's it's you and little old ladies with blue hair and crippling gambling addictions. Like, is that what you want for well, yourself? It, you yeah. want the blue hair gambling addiction thing? Cause like, dude, you got a fucking problem. You know, you work up. I mean, one day it's um, you know, uh, one day it's Jersey Shore, the next day it's Dubai. And, what does that you know, mean? What does that even mean in this context? Like, look, okay, I'm done. I don't fucking care, just... Alright. She can't get me to money to do a cigarette or something, anything. And, well, <laughs> I mean, it's a good start, right? You know, we can, I can, uh... No shit, man. Yeah, okay. Um, $25, you know what? I'll take this down payment, so let's call this $10.75. But, um, I will say this. Like, do what you gotta do. Like I said, take care of it. Maybe just assess the possibility that you might have this slot machine problem thing. Like, just think on it. And a couple weeks from now, if you don't have at least a hundred for me, I'm stealing that one album, like Neutral Milk Hotel record, the one you got signed. Uh, I'm, I'm taking oh. it. Like, no. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, cat. Do you want the gift card back? 
No, 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 take Are it, you take sure? it, take Are you it. Sure? Like, I feel really bad that's... No, you... You're, I'm, you're setting off my neuroses now? It's... Okay. I, just, I want everyone to be okay. Yeah, no, it's it's been tough, you know, this this past week. <sighs> Look, I, you know, just to, just to put it out, just to kind of show my cards, so to speak. Probably not the best yeah, metaphor. I was say, it's like a very, <laughs> very fucking dangerous metaphor to use right now. But, uh, to, uh, to, to show your cards, so to speak. I'm gonna lay it out for you, you know, I... Oh god, right. who the fuck else do you owe money to? Is that what this is? I... I have, a uh, I have five payday loans out. You know how that works, the interest is, uh... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Starts at, like, 30%, right? So, uh, I took five payday loans out for a thousand each. And then, uh, you know, with the compound interest, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 40,000 on those. <laughs> Option, but what's like, the, what's the market rate? I mean, that honestly depends on what your kidney functioning is like. Um, how many alcoholic beverages do you drink a week at this point? I don't know. What about the slots? You know, um, I, when I'm a little juiced, it kind of, kind of, kind of gives me courage, you know, to to play the, to to play the, um, to play the unlikely hands, you know, and it's it's taking that that road of of the uh, the, the daring road, the the road of uncertain outcomes that that's where the winners travel and that's what I'm trying to do and you know getting juiced a little helps with that so okay, to, what I'm trying to say is day day, <laughs> five a day maybe okay so I mean like, I but mean, I mean yeah that's cheap stuff not, yeah it's not like fucking horrible um your, your kidneys could probably be in like better shape but they could totally be in worse shape um stay hydrated like pee regularly okay that's a good sign yeah I'd say like Honestly, in this city, you could probably like pay off most of what you owe with a kidney, and then um, if you were able to wet, just maybe a couple quarts of blood go too. If you got yeah. Blood. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. So no, like, that's again, I'm, I know a guy. Uh, just like think think your options over. I'm not saying I want to harvest your organs. Like nobody wants that, but I do know a guy. Like, is it a one stop thing? Me. Like the same guy does the blood and the kidneys? Yeah, I mean like while you're in the bathtub, you're you're pretty much out cold for like six hours, so he can get up in there and take. I'm not saying he's just gonna start like taking your body parts yeah, really fucking silly. Something. Like no, it's <laughs> it's ethical. Like um, if you want, you can have uh, just some sort of witness there. Like yeah. you yeah. obviously can't sign anything contract-wise because shit's illegal as fuck. But uh. <laughs> 